All right, you guys, good morning. So we're heading to go to Lowe's. Put it up here. There we go. We're heading to go to Lowe's to get some more trim and stuff that we need for the house. And here we need some beadboard paneling. So these shelves right here, y'all, we got these from Lowe's. Let me show you. Let me tell you. We got these from Yadel is he's um doing the countertops. But we got these from Lowe's. Baby, how much did we pay for these? Do you remember how much we paid? One of them was like yeah, like fifteen dollars. Yeah. Yeah, you said it right. I think this one was like fourteen. Yeah, it was really cheap. They were like really, really cheap. Um, I put a plant there because I wanted to see just how it looks. No, you're not gonna move. You're not gonna move my plant from there. He wants to know if you guys think that that plant should go there or not. No. <laughs> what do you no. He said he don't know how to decorate, but he not gonna, we, he's going to move that plant from there. That plant is not going to move from there. Either that or I'll probably get a smaller one with a smaller pot. But I was just checking to see how it looks, and here comes Yudel <laughs> wanting to redecorate. Uh, he always does that and then when his way doesn't come out right he's like oh just leave it your way it looks good <laughs> but these shelves we got them from lowe's and they were about i would say these were a little bit longer they were like a, a, a like probably up to here you know had to cut it but they were like 14 dollars or 13 dollars for one 10 dollars for the other one and then the most highest price is I think they were like 20 something dollars. I'll try to show you in this video in a clip just so that way you guys can see. But these are some nice, nice wood and it matches my countertops. So when he puts epoxy on them, it's all just gonna match. It's not looking like it's matching on the camera, but it matches, trust me, promise. <laughs> um, so that's just how it's looking. A lot of questions about this. This wood is staying that way. Don't mind that we were eating breakfast but this wood is staying that way so yeah so yeah. if you want to join us in going to lowe's and seeing what we buy how we buy it how we find pricing this also has like great clearance if you go like if you like to garden if you go in this time to go shopping for like clearance plants and stuff like that you will find great great pricing in their like gardening department we love to buy stuff on clearance so we're gonna go do that right now. We're gonna show you guys how we shop and how we do things, and we'll be right back. All right, you guys, so I just wanted to come on here and show you that they had all their Christmas stuff out. It was so beautiful. Um, they just had so much stuff, like Christmas trees and stuff. I don't know if we mentioned to you guys, but we are not decorating this year just because we have a whole lot of construction going on. And yeah, we just, <laughs> it's a whole lot going on for us to sit here and decorate as well. And like Christmas and stuff. But my family is coming for Christmas, but they already know we not decorating. <laughs> we just have a lot going on um but they just had so many beautiful things and i wanted to show you guys because they had a table on clearance this one right here for 149 dollars. if you guys see those little slabs those are actual tiles you can just replace that with regular tile like floor tile if you want to buy the table it's not a waste like these tables are normally a thousand dollars and more so i totally recommend them and that was a super cheap price you probably could get it for more on sale if you wanted to but i'm just saying when you find stuff on sale you guys y'all gotta snatch it up and just think about it or look it up on pinterest things that you can use to fix it or whatever because <laughs> that's what me and you be doing um so these are the shelves that we actually put in our kitchen and if you've seen the price they were like 10 to 15 dollars the the larger ones were about 27 dollars so totally recommend they are great 
um, and if you have a greenhouse, because these will definitely need to be inside so they don't die. They have so many, like half off. Like these are like, these can be, these, this just needs to be cleaned up and stuff, but they have so many that are like two to three dollars, maybe seven dollars, but they're just so pretty. Like, so, so pretty. They even have ones that are like in pots already. Like this is $22. But I wonder how much it is. Let's check. I think if it's $15 and up, it's 50% off. So it's on sale for like $12. Or less than $12. But they are so pretty. They have so many. If you want to start a garden or like a little like a little cute area, you are you definitely can because there's so many here that are on sale. This one right here is really pretty. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's so pretty. But I want to see that one again. Alright you guys, so we just got back from um, Lowe's, but I wanted to show y'all that when we went to Lowe's the other day as well, we picked up some banana trees and some guava trees because I do have a greenhouse, so that's where I'll be putting them while it's cold. And yeah, I wanted to show y'all because they look so good. All right, you guys, so this is them. I just got to clean them up and put them some water because I had them out here because the water, the weather was pretty good, but it's getting kind of chilly out now. It was like in the 50s this morning. So I'm going to put them in the greenhouse within these couple of days, but I'm so excited to get these two in the ground once they get a little bit bigger, but I'm going to change out their their pots to something a little bit bigger so they can grow a little higher and then I can put them in. Hey guys! <laughs> they look fat. They're very good. <laughs> you think she's pregnant? Yeah. I really hope so. So cute. So right here, Yadel is just getting the kitchen prepared because he's going to be painting the cabinets and also putting epoxy on the countertops. And he was just sweeping and stuff and always looking for a snack. He's always hungry. <laughs> um, so that's what you'll see us doing in this video. And I'm just washing the dishes just so that way he can have the whole space cleared for himself so he can do whatever he pleases to do <laughs> um, with the remodeling. I try not to bother him too much because he gets his in, in his zone and yeah, I feel like I'm in the way. So uh, that's what he was doing. If you've seen, you're going to see in these couple of next clips is going to be him actually remodeling and like prepping and stuff. He is going to be removing all the doors, all the cabinet drawers and just everything um just so that way he can start painting and things like that so you'll see that in this video you'll also see him painting the shelves like the shelf area that one shelf on this side we still needed to order some elbows and they come in today so that's what we were waiting for for them to come in because they didn't bring it i don't know why this the little shelf pipe industry whatever they didn't put it in the box or maybe i don't know what happened to them but we had to order some more elbows right here we were just fighting because he wanted me to wash the paintbrush and i hate getting my hands dirty with that paint like it just feels rough and he doesn't like it either so that's why he's like oh you're not gonna wash it for me i'm like no i'm not gonna wash it so we were like fighting so right here he threw water on me and here we just normally just talk about like our plans and stuff in life like when whenever you see us just hanging out in the kitchen and just hanging out normally that's what it is but he's eating cuban crackers with miracle whip he's a weird and picky eater you guys it is hard to satisfy him when it comes to food seriously so hard but hey he loves his rice and beans so that's <laughs> mainly what it is and a lot of you guys asked me for the beans recipe i have not forgotten about y'all it's coming i just wanted to give him his little bit of space <laughs> <laughs> to do the countertops and the uh cabinets because i really don't want to bother him so that's just what we're doing here just hanging out and talking while i'm washing dishes we normally do that and yeah you guys so then you're going to see him actually working and stuff he put miracle whip on my face it is definitely fun being around him <laughs> um but then you're gonna see him actually working in the end of the video
So right here, Yadel is just painting everything white because, you know, when you put the beadboard on and stuff, that has to be painted all over again just so that way it can match. So that's what he's doing right here. Now, where you see blue tape, that is not going to be painted. We're going to leave that woodish type um, looking thing there because it just looks so beautiful. And we have like some wood that uh, Yadel is going to epoxy to put on top of the microwave box. So that's kind of what we're going to do and what we're aiming for. And then we are going to just, we? <laughs> Yadel is going to be removing the tape and stuff in this video. And he's also going to be putting the holes on the cabinets just so that way when he goes to paint the cabinet doors and stuff, he doesn't have to go through that and scrape up the cabinets or just mess up the cabinets paint since it's going to be like freshly painted. He doesn't want to go in and have to mess it up to put the handles on. It'll already be, um, the holes will already be there. So he, all he has to do is paint them, put them on, and then he can just put the handles on, which is great. So, that is that just a nice little quick tip for you guys if you're painting your cabinets definitely make the holes before then after if you get these type of cabinets so that's just what he's doing and then once he does that he's going to go in and do the holes like i said and then he will be prepping in the next video to be putting epoxy on these countertops and then to paint the cabinets. So definitely stay tuned for all the videos coming. If you guys want to see more remodeling videos, definitely stay tuned because we have a whole lot more, <laughs> a whole lot more um, remodeling videos coming. So we love you guys and we will see you in our next video. Um, we hope you guys subscribe and like the videos. If you have any suggestions or just anything that you want to see, definitely leave a comment down below because we love to hear you guys' thoughts and we'll see you in the next one.